long summer for you guys. Just how excited are you to be back here and get going again? Yeah, uh, feels great. Uh, we have new players in the team, new coaches. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, very exciting for me. I'm I'm uh, super happy that I'm back, and uh, how you said it was long summer, and can't wait to to start again. Yeah, uh, it's a fresh start for all of us. Uh, yeah, uh, everything what was in the past as we can forget, and and yeah, we have a new coaches. Everything starts from the zero, and uh, we're gonna we can have a good training camp. Uh, push each other every day on the practice, make uh, the other guy better, and and compete. And yeah, uh, can't wait for for tomorrow when we have first practice. How are you feeling um, on a new contract? You're not quite one of the, the young guys anymore. Does it feel like kind of a new stage in your career going into this one? Yeah, just uh, not feeling about it too much. Of course, that was nice to sign deal last year, but uh, for me, it's more about uh, how good I can be and, and just push myself every day, how I do uh, all my life. Just coming with the same mindset, uh, help the team, do the best thing uh, for myself, for the team, and and yeah, work hard. What did the summer look like for you in terms of your training? Yeah, it was long. I had a, I had month off because the the injury from Worlds, but then it was was nice to recover a little bit at least, and then I didn't have to rush anything, so I just start excited. Uh, start to do other sports, start in the gym, then start skating in uh, July. And uh, I had a good team around me in the Czech, so all the people helped me a lot. And, and now I'm excited to, to be back and sh uh, finally put it to the game. I know a lot of system, coaches' systems are very similar, but what are the challenges to having to you know, adjust to a new coach's system every few years? This is your third coach um, of your career. Oh, it's actually fourth coach. Fourth coach. Fourth career. coach, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, it's not, a, it's not about myself what I think about it. It's uh, about the coaches, what, they, what their system is, what they believe in, and, and uh, we got to play like that for us. It's now... We have uh, three weeks to to work on that, uh, focus on the details in a, in a game, and uh, I believe it's it's going to help us. Phil, you had a career year last year, year whatever, fourth year, whatever it is. Where where do you see yourself now in terms of going into this next year? Do you feel like you can build on that, and what's the potential for you? Yeah, of course, build on that. But for me, it's not. Uh, how I said, it's it's behind me. That's uh, that's last year, but I know what I can do. I know that I can score goals. I had a lot of chances. I didn't score many of them as well, and I scored over 20 goals. So I work all the summer on my shot, on on a scoring, and uh, I believe it was just a good start for me last year. But I need to build up on that and and be even better. And I have. I have big confidence in myself and uh, in my abilities, so yeah, uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun. You mentioned the injury. Can you just tell us a little bit about what happened and, and how are you now? I'm good now. Uh, it's behind me. It feels everything feels all right right now. Of course, it wasn't it wasn't the best time in my life because I came to a World Championship to help our nation to win the gold medal, but after four periods, I had to. I had to leave the tournament, so uh, of course it wasn't nice. But I had a, I had the time after the season to recover and, and be ready for the camp. Yeah, what's your impressions of the new coaching staff and, and maybe you know, what it means for younger players like yourself, like Vlad, like Mako, what opportunity could you send there? Well, yeah, we had we had a little talk with the with the coaches just when we see each other in the hallway or or like that and uh, it's it's good to good to meet them like this and i know that i'm gonna meet meet them more and more and talk to them more get to know each other more so it's just uh, yeah. it's just good good feeling 
and uh, about uh, all of it and and yeah we'll see but uh, now I'm very happy about it and and uh, try to know each other more and more I mean in the past one or two like, more guys you know well that's where you're playing that's kind of where it's it was almost like set every game every game do you think it could be different because almost everybody here has to, to prove themselves to an coaching staff like we mean uh, in terms of where you slot on a depth chart, line you play on, opportunity, ice time you can get. Yeah, I don't look at this. For me, uh, even if I would know the coach for ten years, or now we have new coach, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to play my best hockey and and uh, compete for the most minutes I can. Play the important moments. Be on a power play. Be on a six on five. Be in overtime. For me, it doesn't change anything. This is my mindset, and and be on the important moments on the ice, and try to help the team to win games, and and be the difference player.